All right, yeah. I already said, just work through these questions. And if you're doing your own thing, do your own thing. And once it seems everyone's done, I'm going to start going through this section, 3.3, and we'll talk about it. And then there's more questions afterwards. But if you finish everything, really just start screwing around. Start playing around with what you've got. See if you can get even better results. Try new things. Do whatever that works. Because that's the whole thing with evolutionary algorithms is what's correct is what works. So as pointed out, we found a typo. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to do a pull request. We could do this in the browser, but that's boring. No, instead what we're going to do is we're going to do it on our local machines. So what I will do is I will do the pull request, even though you found it and you absolutely should get credit for this. I'm going to do the pull request, or maybe you could follow along what I'm doing, and you can actually submit the fix. But I'm going to show you how you would go about doing it. So here's what we're going to do. OK. We are on simple GA experiment. And if we scroll down, P chromosome. OK. Clearly, here's the mistake, right? This should be the. So we would add a T, right? So I'm going to save this. But if we go back to our GitHub desktop, do I even have it open? <clears throat> I'll wait for it to open. Of course, it's taking forever. There we go. So I made the change and I saved it. Now, I'm looking at GitHub desktop right now. Oh, wait, actually, I need to pull. There's, a, there's a, clearly an update, so I'm pulling from the repo. A moment. Now, you will probably see on your left hand side, if you were playing around with the code, you're going to see a lot more of these like files change, right? On yours, if you're looking in GitHub Desktop, do you see more than just the simple GA experiment thing has changed? Chances are it will if you've been tinkering with the code, which is good. But we don't want to include any, any of those other changes are going to be left alone. The only change we're really worried about right now is that typo we want to fix. And if I click the file that's changed, it'll, you can even click the file and it'll show you the diff, basically what's changed, and it shows right here, it just added the T on that line. So here's what we're going to do. I'm showing you the right way to do this. So are you following along? No? Oh, all right, so I'll just do it. So I'm going to make a new branch. A branch is, I basically make a cop, like, I just, I'm going to make changes, but the changes are going to be isolated from the main repository. New branch, I'm going to give it a good name. Let's call it, like, topic, uh, G-A-E-X-P-R typo. Okay? Give it a reasonably good descriptive name. It's not that critical. It's a really, really good name. But, you know, descriptive is better than nothing. And I say create branch. I'm going to, in this particular case, I'm going to bring the changes with me. Switch branch. Switch branch. Okay, cool. So now I'm in that branch. And I'm going to select the one file that I changed that I actually want to make a change to, to the repository. If you've got a bunch of things here that are changed and they're all selected and you commit the change, you're going to bungle up the, the pull request and I won't accept it because it's going to mess with everything else. We only want to change the one thing. So I select the one file, the one that is simple GA experiment, and I add a commit message. Here I'll do something like he to v, right? Just because it's, it's descriptive. This is the message of the change. I click commit. Okay. And that's really all we have to do for the one change. So now I'm going to say publish branch. So this pushes it to GitHub. So you will have a branch locally. On, you'll have a branch on your, your fork. 
And then here, you click preview pull request. So the branch exists, right? So I'm going here. If I go to main, you will see there's now two branches. There's the main branch, and there's the topic GA expur typo. If I go to pull request, you'll even see up here to be like, hey, there was a there was a recent push. Did you want to make a pull request? And we can go like, yeah, compare and pull request. And this is where you describe the change. This is for me to read. Now, obviously, I'm making this effectively for myself, so it's not particularly helpful. But I've got some conventions I follow, so I'd be like bug or mo bug because it's a typo, topic, uh, e to the reasonably descriptive. There's no related pull requests or anything. And so now I just describe fixed typo, e to the. Why? If it's painfully obvious, you don't need to fill that out. Where? It'll be obvious. How? It'll be obvious. Testing? There's nothing really to test here. Additional notes? Or I'll add a note here for the fun of it. Dud in lecture so everyone can see. Great. I can add a label. You won't be able to do this. Mortarboard. Bug. And then create pull request. And then it'll go here. Then I see it, right? Now, I'm not going to accept my own pull request. Someone else will see this and accept it. It'll go here. It does some checks, right? So some sanity checks. So I know if they pass, chances are the changes you made aren't going to break anything. And I look at your changes. I would go here and be like, what did they do? And I'll see and be like, oh, they just changed T to V. Looks good. So I'll be happy. I will go and I will approve the changes. And then going back to here, once they're approved, I will, and once these pass, I would say squash and merge. And that just means it's added to the main repo and you just contributed and the typos fixed. Huzzah, right? So that's how you can contribute. When you're making your lectures, you're going to be doing it like this. I'll go over this again a little later on how you would do it with the lecture, just so I know everyone's like, you know, on the same page and we don't have any big hiccups. But that's how you do it. That's it. It is possible to make those changes um, in the browser. Doing them in the browser is only really good if like it's a quick and dirty little easy change, which this is an example of. This would be easy to do in a browser. But if you're making more complex changes, it's kind of hard to do it there. So the way I can do it, so this would be under site, topics. So this is, of course, all in the browser, not in the IDE. Uh, genetic algorithms and simple GA experiment, that's where it was. And you can click like edit. And then oh, am I on the branch? No, he. Why can't I find it? Next? Ah, yeah. So you'd be able to just make the change right here, and if you go to if you go to save it, so let's, I fix the change. If I save it, it'll be like okay, commit changes, and it'll kind of do the same thing you did locally on your computer. But I'm not going to do that because we already made the pull request. Isn't that neat? It's pretty neat, and you can contribute to the course content. Look at that, good catch on the typo. <laughs>